All right, welcome everybody. I'm Hello. Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. And as you can see, we are testing out a new configuration of our, what we're calling it the old track at this point. Yeah, yeah, track uh, 1.0. Uh, so what we're doing here, folks, uh, is marble racing. If you came in, we're gonna be racing marbles. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And we are gonna get going really soon. Today's theme is zombies. We got our zombie racers to decide. Now, last week we had a new marble enter the race, Blood Moon, Blood Moon. Uh, apparently cash in there also get a free vacation for one week so they'll be in next week hopefully yep uh, people are looking forward to blood moon but they'll have to wait one more week Tom alrighty folks well we're gonna get started here because we got a lot of marbles 12 new marbles today joining Ooh. the race so to do that let's show you who our contestants are All right, at some point, Mike, we're going to be doing a contest of champions. Would you agree? Do you think that Cupcake is the most controversial champion? I think that's fair. And I also think that this week has a lot to live up to after last week's race, Tom. That's one that's going to go down in history. Well, we're going to keep the scoring with a little bit of more scoring changes. But before we do that, we are going to have the runoffs here. And this is where our zombies are going to come to play. In each runoff, we're going to have eight marbles. So, for example, we have Terrapin Titan, Dead Spring, Crystal Ball, 
Dairy Queen, Gangrene, Stardust, Upside Down, and Ocean Waves. So we're going to do a single race here. And whoever wins this race is automatically in the semi, semi, whatever they are to get into the thing. <laughs> All right. So let's do that first. All right. We're going for the semi, whatever it is. This the is for semi, whatever stakes. it is. The regionals. Okay, we've already lost Dead Spring, Tom. Dead Spring is not trying. Oh! Oh! oh, oh look whoa. at that. That was a. All right. So it looks to me like uh, that's gangrene here. Okay. Okay. So now the rest of the marbles are going to run against the zombies. Any marble that a zombie comes in front of, any of the eight zombies, because there's eight of them. Mm -hmm. um, actually, we have an extra slot. Let's put in nine zombies. Oh. Um, if the zombie, zombie comes in front of you, you're eliminated. Okay. Straight up, not in the final race. So for folks who sent your marbles in, watch this race carefully because it may be the only one they're in. That's right. Here we go. It's the rolling dead. Zombies everywhere. Oh, the zombies may eliminate everybody. Oh, if one zombie this. makes it to the end. Uh, oh, they're all gone. That is that is the case. Every single marble there is gone. That's a shame, Tom. I feel badly about it. Um, all righty. Well, that's race one. And you can see, but always one marble will make it through because uh, we don't want the zombies eliminating everybody. <laughs> Here we have Nova, Megalodon, Loch Ness Monster, Force Field, Wasabi, The Brute, the Patriot and Red Sonia. Some of these did well last week. They did. Here we go. This new track configuration, Tom, is the brute has really not changed things up a bit. Looks like Nova has it. Yeah, that was a clear victory for Nova. Not really much competition. Look at Force Field barely coming in there at the end. No, but the brute did come in second. Mm -hmm. But will the brute do okay against a pile of zombies? I don't know, Tom. Maybe the brute will fight the zombies off so everyone else can make it through. That would be a heroic thing, something the Brute has never done. No, I don't I don't think of the Brute as heroic specifically, Tom. We have the Patriot. We do. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, that was an aggressive maneuver right Patriot. out of the gate. The Patriot's Patriot. not fooling around. Oh, Force Field's trying to get in on the action. Oh, another zombie. It <laughs> this is a horrifying display of carnage, Tom. Oh, I'm so sorry to everyone here. The racers are falling left and right. So... Well, these are moving like the World War Z zombies, Tom. These are not Walking Dead zombies. I was, I was, that, that is, that is, that is the case here. Um, well, I thought more marbles would make it through. You thought wrong, Tom. Strawberry Shortcake, Cat's Eye, Wrecking Ball, Mint Chocolate Chip, Split Pea Sue, Fiesta Fajita, League of Sprites, and last week's champion, We have a Cupcake. delicious lineup here. We've got Mint Chocolate uh, Chip and... Wasabi and Fajita right next to each other on the on the track here. Here we go. All right. Look at Cupcake. Cupcake, Cupcake wants this one. After last week, Cupcake feels unstoppable. But, but, but. Oh. Is that Strawberry Shortcake? I think Strawberry that Shortcake. That is Strawberry Shortcake. Well, that end. will make people happy because people so do indeed like that. Yeah, Strawberry Shortcake's an okay dessert, Tom. I do agree. Yeah. You know, I think it'd be better if it was just called Strawberries and Whipped Cream. Right. The shortcake is really it's the, the weak point. It's a biscuit. I mean, let's just call it what it is, Tom. It's a strawberry biscuit. It's called, we put the strawberries on because it was too dry. <laughs> right. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Cupcake. You got a chance? It's not looking good for Cupcake, Tom. It's not looking good. Oh, 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 oh. I think we may have at least a couple in before the zombies. We do have a couple in. We do. So two of the marbles made it through. Now, you think I would remember which marbles they were? You'd be wrong, Tom. That's correct. It's League of Sprites mm -hmm. and Split Pea Stew. Oh, I don't think these uh, racers have made it in Well, before, they still Tom. might not have. That's true. And here's why. Because only four can make it through in each regional. Mm. And we have five. Okay. So this is just a, a last person out. All right. So we have Strawberry Shortcake, Split Pea Stew, League of Sprites, Nova, and... Um, gangrene. All right, here we go. You'll be writing four of these names down. All right, here we go. And they're off. Remember, last place is what you don't last want here. Every other place does not matter. It's looking okay for Strawberry Shortcake. Look at that, right in there. Looks like, oh. And gangrene is out. So. All right, sorry, gangrene. Gangrene is out. So we have Strawberry Shortcake. Split Pea Soup, we have League of Sprites, and Nova, all in the final 16. Let's go to our second regional here. 
All right, I've yeah, got moon, them down. Beam. Strawberry shortcake, split pea stew, League of Sprites, and Nova. All right, Street Smarts, Bumblebee, Misty Shadow, Dove, Avocado, Bluey, and Tony. All righty, All here, right, we, here go. we go. Remember, first one's in automatically. Tony was taking an aggressive move right off the. He had his breakfast. Oh, wow. Whoa, wait, now he's fooling around. Come on, Tony. Oh, did you... oh, that was a great. I had to do it, Tom. You did it last week. There we go. I don't know how great that was because it felt like Tony was it fooling really around was. there at the end and almost lost. Yeah, he was doing one of those things where he was showboating towards the end and avocado came back to get him. When you're in the end zone, you cannot showboat. You cannot. Here come the zombies. Who was that guy in the Cowboys who the Dolphins knocked it out of his yeah, hand? Yeah, Leon Lett. I will. I still remember that moment. I, I was too, watching obviously. it. Here we go. And we're off. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Zombies are going really quickly, but I think we may get one in, Tom. We got one. The zombies took out everybody with the exception of Bumblebee. Bumblebee. So we got a tiger and a bee. All right. There's something to be said about that. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but there is something to be said. It's part of my Tom. doctorate paper that I'm writing. <laughs> It's all good. All good. You'll all read right. it later. Yeah. Requirement of work. Amnesia, <laughs> confetti, uh, firestorm, yellow bird, whale, who oddly is not that big of a marble. No. Kimura, Jack Skellington, and Leaf on the Wind, who last week died without warning. It did. Ready. Go. All right. Here we go. Come we got on, some... whale. What kind of nonsense is this? Are you even trying? Whale is getting distracted by all of the plankton. Oh, oh my goodness. Look, look at, at that. that. Confetti, Confetti. bulb in there. Confetti and cupcake are cousins. Did you know that? I did not know that. Did you suspect that? I did suspect that. Mm. That they shows that you look on the outside a... of a marble <laughs> rather than the inside. More than a passing resemblance. All right, who can beat up on the zombies? Here we Here go. Here we go. The zombies are coming out fast and furious. I notice we're not losing as many racers to the inside. Oh, 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 oh. Three people got ahead of the zombies this time. Wow. All right. Not bad, not bad. Um, that's Yellow Bird and um, Amnesia and then um, Kimura. Hmm. We've got some new racers here, Tom. Well, what do you know? Uh -huh. All right. Is that Kimura? I think it's Kimura. Here's another zombie here, just stray on the track. Man, these zombies are such a pain in the neck. They really are. And Especially the when foot, they fight and it. In the arm, yeah. And yeah. All righty. So we already have six marbles. That's too many, but we still have another thing here. Valen, Duke of York, Fox. We have TNT Dynamite, Born of Ashes, Gray Swirls. Hi Ho Silver, Storm, and Grandma's New Hip. Unfortunately, this is a race of nine. All right. We'll see. There they go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my oh wow. Oh, what just happened? The ball bearing just went flying down. Hi Ho Silver was not. Hi Ho Silver away. That was not going to be denied. Well, there you go. That's the <laughs> best that Hi Ho Silver has ever done. Yes, that was a very, very aggressive move out of we'll the gate. We'll be going up against only eight zombies here since we have eight racers still in this. All right. Will Grandma's new hip overtake the zombies? Hard to tell, Tom. Oh, Grandma's new hip with some. Look at that. That's as fast wow, as I've seen the zombies, Grandma's hip The going zombies were not time. letting anyone else through no. on that one. Nope. So that is Grandma's new hip, yes? Yeah, and I believe so. I believe that is Valon that made it in. All right. Well, unfortunately, though. We have too many, Tom. We do have too many. Um, so, whoops. Let's keep the zombies here. All righty. So here we go. How many do we have? We have quite a few. There's a lot, Tom. We have Cupcake. We have... Uh, Bumblebee, we have Yellow Bird, we have Hi Ho Silver, we all saw that one. Yep. We have Valon, we have Amnesia, we have Kimura, we have Grandma's New Hip, and we Tony. have Tony. Is it only the top four here are going in? Is that only the this? top four? All right. Five of these marbles are not going to make it. All right, here we go. I'm nervous, but here we go. Oh, look at look at the oh the ball bearing. I yeah. guess that was it. Grandma's, Grandma's New, new Hip will not be denied. My goodness. Wow, look at that. After the last race, you would have really thought he, he, he gave he, up all of his energy. He had a, just a Coke before the match. Right. So yeah, Grandma's new hip. 
We have um, Valon. We have Yellow Bird. No, not Yellow Bird. Wait, is it Yellow Bird? Yes, Yellow Bird. No, I'm all right. And we have uh, Kimura. All right, we've got eight in, Tom. That is true. All righty. Switching out to the regionals number three. Here we go. We have Electro Knight, one of the Kudzu brothers, Mars Rover, Wasp, Geiger, Butterball, Milky Way, and Destiny. Oh Barely my. fits in their slot. Yeah, Destiny is a very, very large racer, Tom. Here we go. That's what's what. Never mind. <laughs> oh, oh, jumped right over. The, oh, <laughs> got a little bit too ahead of yourself there, didn't you, Destiny? And that looks like Milky Way. It does. Is moving on, possibly at least to the end of the regionals. Who did not? Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. Is. So, Tom, in the pantheon of of uh, candy bars, I would say that Milky Way is maybe one of my least favorite of all time. What are your thoughts? It's okay, it, it doesn't have nuts, right? It has almost nothing. It has nougat and chocolate, that's all it has. We're missing a zombie somewhere. You like a Milky Way, do you? You realize that their Snicker bars exist, right? And no. watch them a call. I think a Milky and... Way's better than Snickers. No Sorry. way! I apologize, Mike. This Sometimes... is outrageous, outrageous, I say. Oh, Woo! look at Destiny just clogging things up back there. It did keep one of the <laughs> zombies. Oh, wow, wow, oh, wow. Oh, 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 the zombies were not going to let many people through. Wasp is the only one to make it through in that round. Mm. Yeah, the zombies are brutal. This is actually a, uh, a fairly good way to, to do this. Yeah. I, I would not be surprised if we see we going on up here? Return of the Zombies at some point. Return of the Zombies. And, uh, you know, sequels are sequels. They are. All right, we have Rise of Atlantis, Snake Eyes, Drink Your Ovaltine, <laughs> Cobalt, Green Fiesta, Oily to Rise, and Ready, Set, Spaghetti. Ooh, interesting uh, size variations on these racers. Here we go. Wow, that was a dominating performance. Ready, set, spaghetti. Definitely won it that one. Yes, indeed. All righty. Well, I guess spaghetti and zombies don't mix. Well, I don't know, Tom. Although that does remind me of a joke I, I heard about nachos and uh, zombies one time. But anyway. I do think that the spaghetti can distract the zombies because they think that they're brains, Tom. Yes. <laughs> Don't put a zombie in the stables. That no. would actually cause quite a few problems. All right, here we go. Here we go. Got to keep my finished marbles yeah, separate yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, this is. All right. All right. Oh, my goodness. Tale of two races. They're all kind of well, clogging well, up here. Well, moment had it, but that is oily. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, man. Sorry, wow. Wah. Almost had it. Oh, oily wow. to rise and drink your oval team. All right. Alrighty. Not too good for everybody else involved. No, no. Those uh, those zombies are relentless, Tom. Alrighty, now we have Swirly Dervish, Buzz, Fissure, Not a Cheetah, Istanbul, Terra, Rex, and the Screwball Scrambler. Alright, some heavy here hitters here. Alright, these are some racers that have made some noise in previous races. Terra Started out quickly, but it seems to be losing its way. Oh, my goodness. That is Rex. Rex was in our race last week, Tom. He was. Uh, all right, let's see which of these the zombies will now take out. I have a soft spot for Screwball Scramble. Did I miss a marble there somewhere? I don't know, Tom. Two, four, six, seven. I did not. I just can't count. And we have our zombies getting at it. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Coming out strong hey, out of the gate. this is looking good for everybody. It is. I think I see it. Oh, oh, what? oh. Yeah, zombie. Oh. Only two, Tom. Not a cheetah. And um, uh, Istanbul. All right. We're going to take the first slots here. Um, All right. So these next, this top four are going into the... Going into Top the mix. four, and we have exactly eight. All right, so half of these are making it in. That's good odds. I feel pretty good about it, Tom. I just knocked the marbles everywhere. You did. All right, here we go. The first four make it. Who's going to make it? Who's it going to be? Looking good for Oily Ready, Set, Spaghetti. Nice... Oh. Oh. 
This is gonna be close. I think Rex. Oh no! Rex got clogged. Still made it in. Ooh. Ruined it for Ready Set Spaghetti though. He did. All right. So we have here Oily to Rise. We have uh, Wasp. We have Rex. And we have Not a Cheetah. All right. All right. It's time to move to the last regional. This is our most crowded regional for now, which some might say is not fair. And I say, I don't care. That's right. All right. Here we go. Our new racers here. Ice Randy, Ice Greg. Baby Snot Rocket. Oh, my God. Gray goodness. Fox and Oyster. Florida Weather and No Mercy. And Blue Meanie and Jurassic Amber. I don't know that it was a good idea to put Snot Rocket and Oyster in the same race. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. I would love to see them go head to head. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is uh, this is a tentative race, Tom. I would call oh, it a tentative oh, race. Oh, Rocket almost had it, oh. but but it uh, is that might be oyster? oyster. It's oyster by a nose. <laughs> well, oyster by a nose, right you're, behind Snot Rocket. Tom. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you to uh, Spike Jones. All right. Uh, okay, we shouldn't get that one mixed up with the zombies. Yeah, that is a very similar look to zombie there. Here we go. Never mind, it's doing so terribly. We don't yeah, need to worry about it. we don't need to worry about it. Oh, look, I think the zombie took everyone out, Tom. That's correct. Wow. It's been a while since we've seen the zombies it clear has. out the board. But it kind of makes me a little happy because I don't know why. I'm just kind of a cruel person. Well, look. When it comes to marbles. The marble zombies cruelly. don't discriminate. They're going to just knock out whoever's in their way. All right, let's. Yes. No, these have made it in. Okay. Next we have Slushball, The Machine, Nemo, Dirty May. We have Pretender, Mr. Blue Sky, and Electron High, and BB Great. All right, some new racers in this heat, Tom. Here we go. Oh, we have someone lost at the very top Dirty of the Dirty May is not continuing. Dirty May is out of the race. But Mr. Blue Sky and BB something or other. Well, Mr. Blue Sky is in the race. Yes. Well, possibly. Possibly in it. So that's actually two new marbles in a row there. Yeah. We saw the Oyster and Mr. Blue Sky. Now we're about to see how they feel about zombies. Whoop, nope, <laughs> nope. Nice try, Dirty May. So many zombies. Here we go. Come on, zombies. Take Are them all out. Take them all out That'll this make time, me happy. Tom. It's looking like, oh, no. It may happen, though, Tom. It's going to be real close. I think they're all out. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Three you, zombies. You can't even complain to the judges about no, this, this no. one. That's just too many That was just a dominant out. performance by the, by the uh, zombies. Snot Rocket's in there somewhere, right? Did I mix <laughs> Snot Rocket up with the zombies? That was that was Snot Rocket's trick the whole time, Zon. <laughs> there you go. That's Snot Rocket. All right. All righty. Next, we have Unicorn Dream and the Moose, mm -hmm. Root Beer Float and Champagne Bubble, Clown and the Vegemite Kid, and Eye of the Pharaoh and Aussie Tourist. We have a lot of popular racers here. The Vegemite Kid is an interesting one. A lot of people really love this racer, and a lot of people have nothing to do with he it. He leaves a really bad taste in my mouth, though, after I talk to him. That is true. And what? Clown, clown coming in yeah, strong. Clown. And Root Beer Float, two of the favorites. Don't care about that. Clown? Yeah. I'm not biased. <laughs> All right, here we go. You realize only three racers have made it in thus far. Is that right? That is correct. Really? There's a whole bunch sitting over there. I mean, in this regional. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Clown. Maybe Root Beer Float will make it in this time. Could be. Clown was a favorite, but no, I think they're all gone. Oh! 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 Look at that. Two made it in, Tom. That is Barely true. Pushing ahead of the zombie Who are board. these two? I'm not recognizing them. they're newer ones, Tom. Um, we have Aussie Tourist. Okay. And we have, oh, the Vegemite Kit. Oh, look at that. An Aussie twofer. That is, that is interesting. That's not a knife. That's a knife. A little Crocodile Dundee, Tom. I know never, what it is, never, Mike. I don't have to. <laughs> never too early for Crocodile Dundee. I That's was trying I to think say, of a Tom. comeback. All right. <laughs> we have Eye of the Storm, Flaming Hot, True Love, Montana Marble, Pretty Pretty Princess, and Molten Lava. Just a sixth race here. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, my. A wide open track, and the racers are taking full advantage. They're roaming around, taking the scenic route. They're eventually going to get to the finish line, but 
They're taking their time getting there. I believe that's Eye of the Storm. You Eye of right, the Storm Tom. has been in many races. Yes, it has. All right, well, this ain't good for the rest of these guys because they're going up against the it's zombies. A whole lot of zombies. A whole lot of zombies. Here we go. The zombies coming out strong. Oh, oh, flaming oh, hot. Flaming says, hot. Says, no, nope. I will burn the zombies. Oh, it did make it in, Tom. Amazing. We did get one in. All right, good job for flaming hot. Although the rest of you, thanks for playing. So now, Tom, at this point, when you hear the phrase flaming hot, do you immediately think Cheetos afterward? Have that has that gotten to this point? I have no, it's still the candy. Really? Okay. Goblin King, Speckle Knight and Teton, Pollen, Moonstruck, Yellow Days, and Travel Buddy. This is the final heat here. Alright, here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, there goes Pollen, I think, but no, they're not gonna get in first. Oh, the Goblin King. Is Goblin, the Goblin King. King. Goblin King is in the running here in the mix. And now the rest go up against zombies, and then we're going to have our final regional, and then we're going to go. Here we go. Oh, my. Zombies coming out strong, but I do think we may get a couple. Oh, no, I don't know, Tom. This is looking bad. <laughs> this is looking like carnage. Oh, my word. All the zombies almost got in there before That's true. The if all the trip. zombies go in, your racers are eliminated forever. <laughs> um that's always permanently possible. retired from the Marvel. And that, folks, is it for the zombies? No, it's not Rocket. That's not Rocket. I know it looked like a zombie. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let's get our final match for our regionals here together. We have Eye of the Pharaoh. We have Aussie, the uh, the Vegemite Kid. Sorry, Flaming Hot, uh, Oyster, Mister Blue Sky, Clown, Goblin King. And this was the other Aussie, the Aussie, Aussie tourist. I Aussie believe. tourist. All right, here we go. Only the top, top four, four will make it. Oh, oh it's looking good for goodness. Australia. Look at this. Our new racers coming out with a storm. All righty, that is true. That is four new racers. Wow. Um, we have Aussie tourist, the Vegemite kid. Oh no, three new racers: Oyster and Eye of the Storm. All righty, folks, let us get set up here real briefly for our final race. Some of the marbles decided to go off and buy hot dogs, which is a problem in many different categories. That is not a good thing, Tom. All righty. So we're getting set up for 15 race races here. We need to move it. <laughs> Although we don't have any video coming up later today. That is true. So, all right, I got everybody. Okay, let's give the stable back to the manager. All right, folks, here's how this works. So if you were here last week, it's very similar. We're going to have first place gets 10 points, second place, seven, third place, five, fourth place, three, fifth place, two, and sixth place, one. At the end of the in first 12 races, whoever has the most of six places, though, gets a bonus of 30 points. And then 25, 20, 15, 10, and five for the other places. If you place in every column in each of three races in a row, you get five points. If you have duplicate numbers, like if you go second two times in a row, you get five points. If you get all three, it's a bonus of 15 points. That has never happened. No, it came it close. Not. It came close. If you don't place at all, <clears throat> twice you get 10 points, three times 30, and four times 60, which happened with Cupcake last week. It is now known as the Cupcake Rule. And we have one more thing, which I did not write on here. Um, and you could write it there if you'd like. There's also a bonus of 20 points if you get every place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got it. It's marked down, Tom. All right. Whoo! Are we ready? A lot of new marbles. I hope I remember the names. Yeah, this is going to be uh, this is going to be interesting. Race Tom. number one. Here we go. And the oh. there goes not a cheetah in first. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was an aggressive little move there that at the end. That was. Okay. Right, so we've got, are we doing negative? We are points? not doing negatives okay. to help you out. So, Thank you. Uh, it looks like the um, the League of Sprites came in first. League of Sprites came in first. Okay. With 10. Not a cheated in second with seven. Mm -hmm. In third, we have uh, this one I can't remember. Is that Aussie Tourist? That is Aussie Tourist, yes. Okay, so five for Aussie Tourist. Rex came in fourth. Okay. And fifth, we have Split Pea Stew. And sixth, the Vegemite Kit. Got it. Uh, Strawberry Shortcake came in seventh. Not oh. a good 
Not a good look. By the way, uh, we, ha- we we were there for the riots last week mm. when um, people complained about lane three. Yes. There was a lot of controversy about lane assignment, Tom. Yeah. Uh, so we, we looked into it because we care about we the do. integrity of this program. We really do. Race number two. Also, for anyone watching, if you have not seen the footage of the new tracks that are coming. We'll be showing it at the end of this episode. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. that's two times in a wow. row. League of Sprites in first place. That's My a goodness. Bonus of five. Eye of the Storm in second. Okay. Oily to Rise in third. Rex in fourth. That's two times from yep. fourth. Fifth is Wasp or Hornet or whichever one's in the game. Wasp. And six is Split Piece, too. All right. Man, we All have right. two so far that have the same place. All right, so what are those two? Because this will be super interesting if they get it three times in a row. League of Sprites has been first place both times. That would be amazing if it happened three and, times. And uh, Rex has been in uh, what? Fourth place? Yes, fourth yes, place twice. twice. So if Rex gets fourth place twice, they're already getting bonus points. This mm-hmm. is the way to get more. Here we go. All right, and oh my goodness, not a cheetah comes flying out of the game. That's not a cheetah. That is Rex, I believe. Oh, really? This is not a cheetah. Oh, not a cheetah's garbage. All right. <laughs> All righty. So, um, I don't remember the name of that one. I think it's Valon. Uh, is that Valon? It's the yellow one. Where's Valon? That's not Valon. Actually, by the way, we have some name mix up here because I just realized we have two that looks tremendously similar. Oh, my. Why does this keep happening? Oh, my. All right. Hang on. Hang on a second, folks. We're going to get, get together. Um, which marble is this? It's not wasp. Well, 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 tell me the names on the list. I'll be able to tell from there. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Grandma's new hip is not got anything. Uh, oh, Valon. It oh. is Valon? Oh. Yellow bird? Kimura. Oh, that's Yellow Bird. You're right. Thank it you. is Yellow Bird. First place for Yellow Bird. Yellow Bird got first place. Okay. Second place, Split P Stew. Third place, Nova. Okay. Fourth place, Eye of the Storm. All right. Fifth place is. Hang on one second. We're going to check which one. Where's the Australian one that made it in? Uh, where's we we the, have Aussie Tourist and Vegemite Kid. Where's Aussie Tourist on the on the on the chart? Right there is Aussie. Yeah, what does it look like? It's that one. Okay, so that's not Aussie Taurus, so that's Valon. Valon is in fifth, Whew, and then okay. Rex is in sixth. So remember that Aussie Taurus has yellow, and Valon does not. All right, so we feel comfortable that Aussie Tourist was the third place winner. Oh, sure. Got it. Okay. Sure. Right. So we're at bonus time, Tom, but I don't know that we... Did anyone get all three slots? Split pea soup. And Rex placed all three times. Okay. So Split Pea Soup gets a bonus of five. Rex actually gets a bonus of ten because they placed all three times and got two of the same number, fourth place. Okay. And then League of Sprites gets an extra five points for placing first twice. Okay, got and it. And who's in the running for not placing at all? Uh, we've got Grandma's New Hip, Strawberry Shortcake, Kimura, and Oyster. Hey, man, you never know. You never, you never, never know. know. Here we go. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. So many racers trying to make a name for themselves here. New racers, old favorites. All righty, well, that's the end of Oyster's dream. <laughs> well, not placing that's Correct. All right, Hornet gets number one. Wasp. Wasp. Okay. Number two, Oyster. Mm-hmm. Number three, League of Sprites. Okay. Number four is the Aussie Tourist. Tourist. Number five is Grandma's New Hip. Okay. And number six, Strawberry Shortcake. I think that took out all of the ones that had not placed. Nope. No, Kimura is still Kimura in the mix. Kimura still has a chance. All right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's trying to take the cupcake route, Tom. It's a hard thing to pull off. Yeah, you know, once one person does it. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. This is race five. Race number five. Here we go. And they're all moving on down the track. This one, they're all trying to stay in one kind of group, but now we've got Strawberry Shortcake. Oh! Strawberry Shortcake in first place with 10 points. 10 points. I have the Storm in second. 
Okay. Third, we have the Vegemite Kid. Okay. Fourth, we have Yellow Bird. Fifth, we have Hornet, Wasp. And sixth, we have the one that's not Aussie Taurus, which is Valon. Okay. All right. Woo. Kamora is still alive for the no scoring. That's true. This will give a bonus of only five points. So but not, it gets progressively not larger. A, as it Cupcake does get progressively. <laughs> yeah, Cupcake. That was pretty impressive. Then Cupcake decided to just whoop up on right, everybody. and then just destroyed everyone in there. We still think Cupcake is secretly in the Jason Levine camp. <laughs> race number six. Bonus race points after six. this race. Here we go. Moving down. Rex coming out strong. Oh, very strong. Wow. That was his race to lose. That's right. All right. Rex in first. Second place, we have um, Oyster. Third place, we have the Val Valon. Valon in third place, okay. Fourth place, Strawberry Shortcake, who really came out yes. to play here. Fifth place, Grandma's New Hip. Okay. And sixth place is Split Pea Stew. All right, we've got some bonuses here, Tom. Strawberry. All right, so first of all, Strawberry Shortcake gets a bonus of five points. Grandma's new hip. Grandma's has hip's two, got uh, two fifth places, so that's a bonus five points for Grandma's new hip. Uh, and then Oyster got two second places, so that's a bonus for them of seven five, oh, of five points. Five points, got it. Now okay. that's pretty good, folks. Now uh, wait a minute, let's not forget Kamora, Tom. Sure, but I'm not going to give those points to yeah. the end uh, because we've it. learned that lesson the hard way. That is true. We have done that. So Kamora's up to five bonus points. Right. Could get more. Could get higher. Could get more. We're now at race number seven. Race seven. We're halfway to elimination. All right. These racers are now starting to feel comfortable with the new track, Tom. You can tell that they were a little bit tentative with the new track layout, but now they feel like they've gotten the nooks and crannies. Wait till they see the new track. It's going to be oh, chaos. Oh, my. Chaos, I These tell racers you. are not ready for what's to come. Here we go. All right, that's a first wow. place for not a cheetah. First place for not a cheetah. League of Sprites comes in second. Okay. Yellow Bird in third. Nova in fourth. Oyster in fifth. And Strawberry Shortcake in sixth. All right. And after not placing, Strawberry Shortcake has placed in four straight races. It has indeed, Tom. You're right. Now, maybe she'll get all five numbers. It could happen. We've uh, got one, three, five, and ten. Oh, we've, we've got a, a racer still on the track, Tom. Well, yeah, Split Pea Sue was not trying that one. Do you know we were a kid, someone once dropped off like ten cans of Split Pea Sue for my family. You know, Tom, when I was a kid, we used to go to a restaurant that was a split a split pea stew or soup restaurant, and I thought it was a cruel joke being played on me every time we went there. Whoa! I had the storm just tore wow. into that one. I have the storm in first place. I Second have place, Rex. Third place is the Aussie Tourist. Or okay. Whatever. Fourth place is League of Sprites. Fifth place, Strawberry Shortcake again. Wow. And sixth place, Nova. All right. Well, this is crazy. What's that marble that's not placing? It's Kimura, Tom. Man, for such a pretty marble. Yep. Well, that just shows looks ain't everything. Not a marble race. Thank goodness, Tom. <laughs> that was rude of you to say to me. <laughs> I was talking about myself. Wait, we're missing a marble again? Oh, what's happening here? Oh, right oh, it's here. right there. It's, it's split, split pea soup again? again? What? Didn't like my story about Anderson's pea soup. <laughs> here we go. Wait, there's something with this starting gate here. Yeah, there's something going on here. Oh, no, bud. Wow. Oh, oh. Oh, this is this is a sad moment here. Okay, Nova in first place. Nova in first place with ten. Okay. In second place, Valon. Okay. Third place, Strawberry Shortcake. Wow. Fourth place, Oily to Rise. Got it. Fifth place, Kamora. Oh. <laughs> and sixth place, the Vegemite Kid. All right. Okay. So we've got some, we've some, got bonuses, some bonuses here. Uh, who's that there? Strawberry Shortcake gets another bonus of five points. Nova. L Nova gets a bonus of five. And that looks that like looks all the like bonuses it. we're giving out there. Yeah. All right. Subtotaling here, I guess. Is there a subtotal time? You've got one there. Do you want me to do it? I do want a subtotal. All right. Here we go. This makes your life somewhat easier. Okay. All righty. Why Mike is subtotaling here? Let me talk to the the crowd. Let's take a microphone out into the things. It's called the YouTube chat thing. Tom is doping the marbles. No, 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 no. We run a fair race here. 
By the way, if you're watching and you want your own marbles in the race, so that our starting position thing takes several years, <laughs> right? Then email me at tom at dicetire.com and I'll let you know. We got more marbles on the way. The marbles are not social distancing. That's odd. We checked and not a single marble has caught the coronavirus. So scientists have declared them immune. Yes. I've actually decided to transition to a marble. I think it's a good idea, Tom. My wife was against it, though. Uh, let's see here. Almost there, Tom. I went to Pea Soup Anderson's as a kid a few times. Yeah. See? Was that the name of it? It's the, what it's called. It's called Pea Soup Anderson's, and it's a, a restaurant that's all about Split pea soup. I like split pea I soup. I hate split pea soup. Right, yeah. You have my rib, 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 Am I going to fix the gate? Uh, what's wrong with the gate? We're going to have a whole new gate here. Yeah. What's wrong with the gate? All right, Tom. I've got the subtotals. All right. Let's see. That's, that's here. All right. Uh, I'm just going to go down in order of marbles because otherwise... <laughs> You're kind of doing it. Yeah. Okay. So go Strawberry ahead. Shortcake has 32. Split Pea Stew has 16. League of Sprites has 40. That's the lead. Uh, Nova's got 24. Grandma's New Hip with 19. Valon with 15. Yellowbird with 18. Last place, Kimura with 2. Oily to Rise, 8. Wasp, 14. Rex with 34. Not a Cheetah with 17. Aussie Tourist with 13. Vegemite Kid with 7. Oyster with 21 and Storm with 27. So, League of Sprites in the clear lead with Rex, not too far behind, and a number. What is League of Sprites' score? League of Sprites is 40. The next closest is 34 for Rex. Okay, well, these bonuses are going to matter here, actually. They are going to matter because Strawberry short, uh, Shortcake's there with 32. There's still, uh, there's still plenty of points to be had. All right, and we still have uh, six races left. Yep, we're on, we're on race 10. And remember, after these three races, though, we're going to be giving out majority bonuses, and then eliminating six oh, marbles. okay. Here we go. And they're off. Rex. Oh, Rex got a little too ahead of themselves. Now Rex is going to have to win. Oh, I thought Natachita race. had this one. Oh, maybe they still do. No, no. No, they do not. Oh, oh wow. Okay, wow. so there's the Aussie the Aussie Traveler, Taurus, is in first place. Okay. Second place, Strawberry Shortcake. Mm-hmm. Third place, Natachita. Okay. Fourth place, League of Sprites. Fifth right. place, Oyster. And sixth place is Grandma's New Hip. Got it. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, Grandma's New Hip did not have a good showing on her debut last week. No, but hey, did not. Hey, you come back and you, 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 and, you, 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 you fix it. Took a I don't think there's rehab. actually any former champions in this mix that I can I remember. I don't believe there are, Tom. Now that you mention that, I think you're right. We will be having a champions runoff race when i have 16 of them folks that's it that's going to be the real deal right there and probably on a new track we'll see <laughs> that would be a good way to, to launch be, the new track that would be here uh, we go rex again right there in the mix oh rex slowed down and oh, 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 oh. i and the storm did a little bouncing rex in first place strawberry shortcake in second wow i have the storm in third got it vegemite kid in fourth Fifth place is Split Pea Stew. And sixth place again, Grandma's New Hip. Wow, there's going to be some bonuses this round, Tom. No doubt about it. I think so. But also that getting the most six places is a good thing yeah, to get. People forget it's, that. It's... Mostly because it was a rule institute last week and didn't make very clear. <laughs> correct. Just like a Kaniti again. <laughs> That's also correct, Tom. Several marbles complained I didn't explain the rules very well. To them, I point to my videos for proof that that always happens. <laughs> Here we go. This is the final race before elimination. That's correct. All right. Here we go. Rex is really trying to make a name for themselves, but they're getting caught up. They're getting caught up in the wash. Whoa. Oh, wow. the Aussie tourist. Okay. That, that, was that wasn't second. second. We're going we're yes. to declare that. Um, Aussie, will you stop it? <laughs> Aussie tourist is in first place. Okay. Vegemite Kid in second. Wow. Oily to Rise in third. Split Pea Soup in fourth. Grandma's New Hip in fifth. And Strawberry Shortcake in sixth. Okay, all, all right, lot I'm gonna take of bonuses, the Tom. Yeah, here. take that from First of all, Strawberry Shortcake is going to get 10 bonus points for that round for coming in second twice and placing all three times. Grandma's New Hip also gets a bonus of 10. Aussie gets a bonus of five for coming in first place twice. All right, now we're going to add in the bonuses for the most of each place. We'll start with the most first places. That's the most tens. And remember, if there's a tie, no one gets it. But there is a winner for this one, and that's Rex. Rex has come in first place three times, mm. giving Rex a bonus of five. 
And the most second place is at sevens. Uh, two, two, one, two. I see no one's going to get that one, unfortunately. Right. Then third place, which is fives. I see those are really spread out. If anyone mm -hmm. has two, they might even get it. Let me check here. Uh, Aussie has two. Does anyone else have two? Yep. Oily to rise has two. So no one gets that either. All right. All right. Fourth place. Is, this is 20 points. These are threes. Um, well, Rex has two threes. And does anyone else have two threes? I don't think so. Oh, yes. League of Sprites has two threes. So no one gets that. Wow. Fifth place with twos is 25 points. Oyster has two fifth places. So does Wasp. So does Grandma's. No, Grandma's New Hip has three mm. fifth places. Yep. Grandma's New Hip gets another bonus of 25 points. My goodness. And finally, the most sixth place is 30 points. The most ones. Vegemite has two. So does Grandma's New Hip. Ooh, could you imagine if you got wow. two bonuses? That'd be crazy. But Strawberry Shortcake has three. Three. Wow. That is a bonus of 30. I just added it to the 10 there for okay. 40. All right. So you just add all this plus the subtotals. All right. Let's see what we got. And here. we're going to see who's been eliminated. Oh, my word, folks. That's Those bonuses are powerful. Oh, we forgot to add the bonuses for missing spots. Oh, uh, there was just... It was, uh, it's Kimura with, with Kamora five. gets a bonus of five. Oh, Kamora, no, Kamora didn't score that round either. So Kamora gets a bonus of, of 30, actually. Oh, is that right? It's yep. not not consecutive. It's, it's not total, consecutive. It doesn't so matter. 30 points for Kimura. Let's see if anyone else gets a bonus. No one else missed three. Did anyone else Wasp, miss two? Wasp missed two there. That's there. five for Wasp. Okay. I don't think that's going to help Wasp win. Probably not. Okay, so here we go. All righty, folks. We're going to be eliminating eight racers here before our final three races. All right. Yeah, this is going to take me a second here, Tom. I'm, I'm going to go as quickly as I can. But all righty, are these the official rules from NASCAR? No. And don't forget, folks, the final race is double points, which is a big deal because in the final race, that 20 points can swing even. Um, most marbles aren't going to be too far ahead in this round. We are, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Almost there. Someone says, strawberry shortcake dominating just like you expect for such a delicious treat. I don't know. I don't think I've ever deliberately picked strawberry shortcake. No, no. That's what you pick if there's nothing else to eat. Well, here's what you can do. If you take strawberry shortcake, throw on some chocolate chips, some drizzling, some chocolate syrup, stick a brownie underneath it, and then get rid of the shortcake. Now, now Are you're you talking. with me? I'm with you. All right. Okay. Nasmar. <laughs> no, this get is actually a international champion there's nothing american about this particular uh race this is all right international marble league. so all we're, right. we're keeping the top the top eight so let's okay. get rid of the ones we're getting rid of okay uh so in last place is oily to rise with 13. Yeah, you know fuck kids you should still get up early correct but, uh, um, but oil <laughs> it's like a mix of yeah that's just nothing good as oil coming but also early to rise all right all right, and uh, second to last place is Valon with 15. Valon is the one without yellow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we've got the Vegemite Kid with 17. That was a good That was a good opening day for the right. Vegemite yeah, Kid. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, with 18 is Yellow Bird. Oh, Yellow Bird, Yellow Bird. Then is Wasp with 19. Then we have Split Pea Stew with 21. I believe I'm the sponsor of Split Pea Sue, if I'm remembering correctly. Then, uh, right behind that, Not a Cheetah with 22. Eh, people never seem to like this one a lot. And All then right, the seriously. last one out, is that right, Tom? Uh, hang on, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, one more. One more, and the last one out is Oyster with 23. Oh, that's still a pretty good debut, Oyster. But we actually do have um, a, a new one in the thing. Uh, just, I believe, just the Aussie Travelers, their only new one. Uh, yes, I believe you're right. All right, Mike's not going to be reading the scores here to keep things tense. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'll be giving these back to our manager, Holly. These are now been removed. Ah! All right, folks, we have three more races. The first two races are normal. There's no more bonus points at this time. Right. Even though I have a bonus column there. Yep. Um, 
And the last race is doubled. Last race is doubled. Here we go. Can you feel the tension, folks? The racer sure can. Rex, Rex coming it, out really it, strong. Rex will not be denied unless wait, it wait. does. What's going on, Rex? Oh, third, first to third, Rex. That's what you get. Rex, uh, Nova gets first place with 10. Nova with 10. Interesting. League of Sprites second with seven. Mm -hmm. Then um, Rex third with five. Aussie Traveler gets three. Eye of the Storm with two. And Strawberry Shortcake with one. Got it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm telling you folks, you never know what's going to happen you here. Never, ever know. All righty. This is race 14. Here we go. Coming out of the gate strong, Tom. Rex is hanging back. Will it try to make an aggressive move? I don't think so. I think Rex is out is of control. Is that another one from Nova? Wow. Oh. Man, Strawberry Shortcake was doing well there. All right, so Nova gets another first place. Okay. Eye of the Storm second. Got it. Third place is, um, I can't remember the name of this one. Who's left? <laughs> um, League of Sprites, Grandma's New Hip, Kimora. Oh, Kimora, Kimora. Kimora. Kimora was only in their race because they did so wow. poorly. Okay, so third. S Strawberry Shortcake with fourth. Grandma's New Hip with fifth. And League of Sprites with sixth. And folks, this is it. The final race final here. Final race, double points on this one. That's right. 20 points would help almost any marble at it this sure point. It sure would. Ready, set. Hang on, we got to do this right. <laughs> oh, Nova, no! Nova just got caught up at the top. Was feeling the pressure, Tom. You could tell that Nova was oh, feeling the pressure. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. So, League of Sprites gets 20 Okay. Strawberry Shortcake with 14. Rex with 10. Grandma's New Hip with 6. Then we have Eye of the Storm with 4. And then 2 points for Kimura. All right. Let All right. Well, Mike's adding final totals. scores. I'm going to come over here and talk to everyone here. A ketchup mechanism. Oh, man. I just got an idea, Mike. Do you know what it is? <laughs> ketchup? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> wow this is i might be... do it yeah hey look i mean as a final uh, goodbye to this board i can see that happening someone said sounds like the kickstarter funded again <laughs> all righty we're this getting... is going to be exciting here, folks, because I actually don't have an idea of who won. I had an idea of who was leading going into this, but then it got shaken up. Taylor Swift started singing. Don't put ketchup on the board. You, yeah, would I do that? Never. God, so rude. Put ketchup on the board. <laughs> All right. We're, I think we're there, Tom. All right. Let's do the eighth. All right. In eighth place. With how many points? With 39 points is Kimura. All right, that should quiet the people who say that getting that bonus helps. I mean, it does help. It got right. her into the final eight. But then she didn't pull through. See, Cupcake came into the final one and then yes, whooped up. That's correct. All right, and in seventh place, we've got the Aussie Tourist with 41 points. All right. That's pretty good for our first time shot there. Congratulations. All right, we've got a tie for seventh place. Both with 44 points, Eye of the Storm and Nova. Man, Nova was doing so well until that complete falling well, apart there. Interestingly, though, Tom, Nova came into the this last couple of few races in last place. Oh. And it had, it had two first places that uh, really uh, kind of put them... Uh, well, getting stopped there doesn't help. Yeah, All right. Nova gets stopped a lot. All right. Uh, in what would be what? Fourth place? That's correct. In fourth place is Grandma's New Hip. Woo! That's we call her the, the queen of bonuses. That's she had right. a lot of bonus points that definitely helped her get to the top, but not enough to push her over to win. Nope. In third place with 64 points is Rex. <gasps> Folks are like on the edge of their seats. I don't even know who won here. We're down to Strawberry Shortcake and League of Sprites. League of Sprites, no one ever no one ever cheers for them. Right. Everyone cheers for Strawberry Shortcake. Is this is this the, the popular kid or the the outsider? Well, Tom, I will tell you, there is a spread of over 30 points. Oh, oh my word. That's a lot of points. Between second place and first what place. What are the point totals? The first place 
had 105 points. I believe that's the first time we've gotten into triple digits. Well, no, we had that one race with the stupid bonuses oh, that I did right, that drove you crazy. Yeah. All right, so that's true. Uh, in any normal race, this is the highest. So, uh, with 105 points, was the first place. Second place was 71. Who got 71? 71 was League of Sprites. Oh, my word! The people shall rejoice! Strawberry Shortcake has won! And five points. Against the zombies! Even zombies won't eat Strawberry That's Shortcake right. is what I'm getting from that. From an inferior dessert. Strawberry Shortcake, your champion. All right. Well, congratulations. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. We do this every Tuesday. Um, and it won't always be at 10 because sometimes we'll have live plays and things. Sometimes right. it will be in the afternoon. So keep an eye out for when we will post it. Starting next week, I think it might be in the afternoon. But that being said, before we leave, um, we're going to show you uh, something that was in Board Game Breakfast yesterday. So you may have already seen it if you watched that. But just a bit of what's going to be our new track. Now, realize this is still a while away before we get the track. We're going to show that and then do the outro. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delisio. Have fun catching up. <laughs> hey, all you current and future marble racing fans. I've got a treat for you today because I'm here to give you an inside look into the brand new track system we're developing for the Dice Tower's own hit show, Shoots and Marbles, live streamed every Tuesday right here on the Dice Tower YouTube channel. Now, if you've ever seen the show, you know they take marble racing very seriously. And we on the track development team are just as committed to creating fair, exciting, and challenging racing experiences for all your elite marble competitors. That's right, you can send in your own marble to compete in these races. So let's head over to the board and I'll show you how the new design is progressing. So here's the track layout as viewed from above. It'll be a U-shaped course with marble competitors starting here at the top left and traveling down and finishing at the bottom. The track will be split into six modular sections that can be rearranged and swapped in and out for a variety of course configurations. So we completed the prototyping stage and we've come up with this final design for the construction of the track sections. Each of the sections will be this size, made out of lightweight laser cut plywood, and they'll slot together and then tighten down with these knobs. We've also completed the starting gate, which has 10 lanes, space for up to one inch marbles, and a trigger release. Now each section of the track will be designed with a different racing style in mind, and the obstacles will come in many different forms, so it won't always be a good thing to be the lead marble. Now this first section here is a pretty straightforward and simple design, but its main purpose is to randomize the marbles in such a way that there is as little starting lane bias as possible. So now that I have this section complete, let's give it a quick test together. All right, folks, time to choose your color. We've got red, yellow, green, blue, black, white, light blue swirl, black and white stripe, smiley face, and polka dot green. Ready, set, race. Well, there you have it, folks. It looked like black was gonna take it down the middle lane, but got hung up and allowed polka dot green to come down the outside and take first. Smiley face keeping a smile for second place and dark blue coming through for third. Hopefully you enjoyed this little diversion from talking board games. You can find Shoots and Marbles Tuesdays on the Dice Tower. I'm David, see you next time.